Hello everybody, back again with another video. Hope you're doing well. Hope your life's going well. Hope this week has gone well for you and I hope that today has gone well for you. Today is Tuesday. It is Tuesday. For some people that's the official start to the work week because we know Mondays you're all tired from the weekend. You're not even trying to think about work and it's the slowest day for you Mondays but Tuesdays that's the official start of the work week for some people <laughs> I was talking to somebody about that uh, yesterday <laughs> it is Tuesday that's the official start to the week but anyway I hope you're doing well I'm hoping that your work week is going well things aren't too stressful and I hope it it's a uh, productive week for you so far, even though we're only uh, through Tuesday. Um, and so, for me, I'm making this video in the morning, and uh, I'll be uploading it this uh, this evening. You know, and so by the time you see it, you'll you'll have made it through Tuesday. Okay, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We got three more days left by the time you're seeing this but um, I want to talk about Uber Eats DoorDash uh, Grubhub even though Grubhub isn't very popular at least where I'm at is Grubhub still popular or are they even still around I think the two biggest delivery services I know of is DoorDash and Uber Eats. Um, is Postmates still around? I don't know. See, I only know about these because I used to deliver for these food delivery apps years ago when uh, it was actually worth delivering for. Nowadays, you, you're not going to make anything. You're making basic, in my, um, the way I see it, you're basically making enough just to pay for the gas and a little bit extra like you'd actually make more per hour like getting a job making fifteen dollars an hour because at least you making fifteen dollars an hour the taxes are pulled out you don't have to use your own car and pay for your own gas the whole time you're working right extra expenses and all that look can't do it but i want to talk about why i would not even order anything off this app and what inspired this video is i saw a video where it was somebody's like doorbell camera and the guy he delivered the food and he was calling the person he was delivering to like racial slurs and uh I was like wow and the whole time I was thinking I hope they didn't eat that food and it kind of just goes back to the fact that you can't you don't know whether like your food is being tampered with when you are um getting your food delivered with these delivery apps like there's no one watching them you know no one watching your food right oh i think they do what do they do like background checks and all that these food delivery apps they do background checks yeah but that's that's not enough right you still have instances where um people will get food delivered and uh it'll be like obvious that the food has been like messed with and then you have other situations where the food you, it gets to your home and the food is all cold or whatever it was if it was like something that was liquid it's all like soggy now and like <laughs> that's the thing it's like man uh, and then 
and then you have to think about it too you get your food and it's cold and you paid extra just for the food to be delivered and so now you paid extra for the food to be delivered to your house because you didn't want to go out and uh, pick the food up yourself right even though you could have and saved money now like I say there's instances where okay say someone is disabled but if you're like you can walk and drive and all that you can go and pick up your food yourself but you chose to pay extra for the delivery but then it's like it's cold now and you just paid extra money hmm that would make me pretty upset and that's happened to me I've gotten food and the stuff was cold and I had to warm it up in a microwave and uh, it didn't really taste the same <laughs> warming it up in a microwave and so um, that's why with me nowadays if I order something like I'm just gonna go to the restaurant and pick it up and then also too um, even if you order pickup you want to buy it directly through the company's like website like place your order directly through the company's website don't and that's if you're ordering online like don't um don't don't uh go and order it through like uber eats or doordash because you know a lot of times not for everything but i've noticed for certain items like the prices would be different especially like uber eats like you'll notice that it, the price is more when you order something on uber eats versus if you just ordered it directly on the um the company website and so that's another reason why i would say just um just order directly through the company website because when you're ordering through them you're gonna pay more you're gonna pay that premium right or you can cook at home that's the best option but i'm just saying if you're gonna order like some sort of takeout or something like that order via the website the company website or call and place an order too but then you have to make sure they're charging you correctly once you get there right but uh i think a lot of people are starting to wake up to the reality of these like food delivery apps and they're starting to get off of them and they are returning to the old way which was just to order online or call and do take out and just go and pick up the food because who wants to pay extra who wants to pay these crazy delivery fees then you have to tip the driver and then your food might still be cold who wants to do all that when you just pick up the food yourself oh and don't forget the food being like costing more in general like i remember one time well uh, and this was some years back i paid like almost 30 dollars for like one meal and if i just ordered it online and picked it up it would only have been like 15 dollars right it was like a it was like a huge salad or something like that but spent almost 30 dollars on one meal because i had the the delivery fee that was huge had to tip the driver right came out to almost 30 bucks i think back to when i spent all that money i was like man what was i thinking was i thinking at all apparently i wasn't <laughs> apparently i wasn't thinking at all i was 
was just, I didn't care. Uh, I think I came home from uh, being out on the road. And uh, I just wanted something to eat. You know, I was tired. You know, and I just wanted something delivered to my, my door. Right? So I ordered it. Uber Eats. I used to drive for them too. Um, back in like 2021, when it was actually worth it. Now some people were still like staying home and everything, and uh, you know, the amount they were paying like per order was actually was actually pretty good. And uh, but nowadays, 2024. If you're depending on food delivery apps or any of these like apps, you're hardly making anything. A lot of them for many of these cities, they're oversaturated. They hardly pay anything. They want to pay you three and four dollars per order. And the order takes like 20, 30 minutes to complete. It's ridiculous. Even if the order only took like 15 minutes to complete that's still not worth it because think about it you'd have to do if you did four of them orders in an hour if you did four four dollar orders and they all took 15 minutes each you'd still only make 16 dollars in that one hour and remember that's not the same as if you worked a job and made that 16 dollars in one hour that 16 dollars as an uber driver you have to subtract the gas you used, the taxes, maintenance, etc., insurance. You know, when you do these apps, you're supposed to have like commercial insurance too because you're using your car for commercial purposes. But I know many people don't like realize that. And so, if you actually have commercial insurance, like the amount that you pay every month is gonna be even more. <laughs> And say just regular car insurance. And so. After all that is subtracted. What do you have left? Once you make that $16 in one hour. Not a lot. Probably less than $10. If I'm being honest. And uh, who's, who's trying to work for $10 an hour right? So that's why I say it's just. It's not worth it. These apps, right? Um, you don't know who's touching your food, right? You don't know if the food is being messed with, tampered with. You don't know. Then the food can be cold when you get it and nasty and won't even taste like how it should taste when it comes directly to the rest from the restaurant and then it's expensive so what's in it for you the consumer I guess food that's delivered to your door but you don't know how the food is going to show up you don't know how the food was handled you could get it and it could be a pizza and I've seen this happen a lot where the They'll open a pizza box and the pizza's like smeared all over the the ingredients on the pizza is like smeared all over the place. You know, the sauce and everything. Because I guess the driver was either driving crazy or they just the pizza fell out of the seat or something like that and they didn't care to tell you. Well, I mean, I don't know. How would they tell them? Because a lot of people they they select the option to just leave the food at the door so that you don't have to like interact with them but still i wouldn't want that to happen to a pizza i order right i'd rather just order from a um if i'm gonna buy pizza and get it delivered I'd rather just have like an actual like pizza delivery driver that works at the restaurant delivered because at least they have that little like that little thing so that the pizza like can't fall over and I think doesn't the little sleeve or whatever they put it in like keep the pizza hot as well 
I think it does. I don't know for sure though. But because I haven't ordered pizza in such a long time. This pizza is like not healthy and I try to eat healthy. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Had to throw that in there. But um Yeah. Uh that's about it for this video. I just I, I saw this and it just brought back saw that video of the guy who was making all those like racial sl saying like racial slurs to the customer through the doorbell like how like like that's ridiculous like I mean that's just <laughs> I mean a doorbell camera is sitting there but I guess he didn't realize that they had a doorbell camera but I don't know how you don't realize that they have a they didn't have a date they, they had a doorbell camera like how do you not realize that and it caught the whole thing on camera where he's calling him like racial names as he's delivering the food and i was like wow <laughs> and apparently he got fired by whatever delivery food delivery company he was like driving for or whatever but uh that's why i was like no nah, I, I can't do these food delivery apps can't do it can't do it but uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up i do actually have to go to work right and so i hope you were relaxed and i hope that i did inspire a thought thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your evening